Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. And I'm Karina. And today, we're finally doing it. If you're a part of our it's fan happening. family, it's happening. you know that KZ has been requesting for the past <laughs> eternity in a myriad of ways. I think they've been suggesting this since before the channel started. I think so, too. I think they, <laughs> they came out the womb screaming this. <laughs> Uh, they wanted us to draw our personas, and we finally did it. And not only did we did it, but we did it as a full speed draw episode, maxed out, full yeah. on. I'm expecting four very sincere drawings again, <laughs> much like the Sonic OCs episode. That's yes. what I've prepared. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta. Uh, up first, we've got our boy Nathan in, in the lead spot. Hi. I'm here to set the, the tone. For, for the episode, just sort mm -hmm. of a, a very standard persona, I felt. Can you tell us so, what animal you went with? Well, a fun thing I learned, because I did a little bit of Googling, because I wanted to make sure I understood personas, <laughs> is that yeah. you it doesn't have to be a real animal. You can make a hybrid animal. What? Mm -hmm. No one informed me of this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, personas, personas can have like wings and be. Personas can be anything. Personas can be anything. So <laughs> I combined two animals, uh, and I made a a, a puppy sloth. <gasps> oh a boy, a puppy specifically and sloth. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna count you in. Three, two, one, go. So my thinking for this was to not necessarily make it. Me, because because personas are like an alternate persona for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Persona. So I and and personas have have like edgy teen energy to them. Yes. And I think I've told this story before on the program about how when I was a teen, I uh, I briefly considered getting UFO pants. Yes. yes, we have talked. <laughs> and about so it. this this persona is the me if I had gotten the UFO pants. Oh, oh my god, too powerful! I was, I was about to say this is these pants shapes. Yeah, this is a throwback yeah. to that exact conversation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, I I feel like personas, all the <laughs> images of personas. I yeah, I have a sword. <laughs> of what? By the way, <laughs> it's a fantasy self. You yeah, can make yourself true. anything, so so why not give yourself a sword? I felt like if I got into UFO pants, I probably also got into swords. This is the Nathan Nathan wants to be. This sword. is the teen the teen Nathan Trip I could pants. have become if I had yeah. the the self confidence. Also a hybrid animal. Yeah. What is is that like a, a vest? Yeah, it's like a vest over a hoodie. <laughs> like a formal vest. <laughs> I love it. I imagine it's like a cutoff sort of situation. <laughs> this yeah. Nathan's a little punked out. I'm a little, you know, I'm a, I'm a, a goth sloth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Perfect. dude. A gloth. A, gl a gloth, <laughs> as, as they're called. Shout outs to the gloths in the chat. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to make something that looked like when you Google fursona, it could it could show up in the search results. Well, you yeah. are. You're winning. Yeah. You're doing it. That's what I was thinking like from the moment you started drawing was like this looks exactly like a fursona. <laughs> so, yeah. before this started, I had to Google fursona because I've <laughs> I have not seen many. I've I've missed the boat on what fursonas are. And wow. um yeah, this is um, this is this is like a lot of what I saw. Just uh, your persona has clothes compared yeah. to the ones that I saw I on mean, Google. A lot do. Yeah, some do. Yeah, just it's sort of a a fashion exercise. You can yeah. have as much or as little clothes. I know there are different um, sort of philosophies on personas. <laughs> Schools of thought. They're all like a little horny. Even the ones that aren't explicitly, they all just sort of have those like horny anime eyes. Yeah, a there's a bit. there's a vibe. <laughs> there's an energy. And that just it just reminded me of being a teen, just looking at the drawings, and so I was like, 
if I had designed myself a fursona when I was a teen, it probably would have looked something like this. That's a fair way to look um, at it. Yeah. But I get I gave myself the beard um <laughs> so that it would be recognizable to the fans even though as a teen I feel like most teen boys draw themselves with a beard for some reason. I don't think I did, but again, this is like a hybrid teen me and now me and the teen me that I could have been but was not. That's beautiful. Hybrid, <laughs> two you. animals, future and past. <laughs> Nathan, days of future past. Goth, but sloth. Yeah. <laughs> and also With a sword. sword. <laughs> and also sword. <laughs> I feel like I'm the least intimidating holding a sword of any of anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like that yeah, they note. don't. <laughs> Uh, your pants yeah, I dreams. could. I couldn't fit. I just UFO pants are crazy. They just yeah. have flaps and and bits hanging off. And I was like, I don't know. I c I commend you for doing this much. Yeah, really. Thank you. I'm not a fashion. I'm not a fashion guy. Well, neither are <laughs> teens. So <laughs> yeah. I think you nailed it. I had UFO pants and they had belts that went like X across both legs. And I was like, this is Damn. not practical. But yeah, it was you... cool. But it was cool. It was a look. <laughs> yeah. Those aren't pants that you want to get like stuck in an obstacle course with, you know? Oh, this is such a nice line art. Yes. You're not going to an obstacle course if you're wearing UFO pants. That's your, but you're what going if I to the mall only. What if I do paintballing, man? You wear different pants or to at the mall. Tag. <laughs> it's, Fair. It's paintball, not paint mall. Hey, <laughs> exactly. Nathan, this That's looks what... so clean. Thank you. It looks so clean, and I love these big old shapes. You know, I'm not really innovating on on my style at all here. I just sort of wanted to make a sincere uh, attempt yeah. at at a at a design. Yeah, man, you're doing it's it. It's a persona. It's not particularly interesting pose. Oh, but I see. It's, it's it's Joker colored your pants. <laughs> oh no, you fixed it. Okay, <laughs> dial it back. <laughs> I mess around with the colors a little bit. Yeah, Nathan, I can say that. Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. <laughs> Got him. Oh, the white outline. Yeah, right? Oh, that really, ooh. God, you captured the vibe so yeah. directly that I feel uncomfortable. That's That was what I was going for. You did yeah. such a good job. My God. I wonder if you could do that game where you can Google like, you know, it like the Sonic OC thing again, where you'd like put in your name and Sonic OC, and then you yeah. see what comes up. Because this this would definitely be added to like that Google roster if you Googled Nathan. Yeah. Nathan Persona. Nathan yeah. Persona. This is Nathan Persona. I think the goal <laughs> of this episode should be to get this on the top results of Nathan Let's Persona. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I don't know how we go about that, but we have to do it. Everybody post this on your social media with the caption, <laughs> Nathan Persona. Please. And that's it. <laughs> Please get this drawing trending. Oh, no. Hashtag. <laughs> I just want the other Nathans out there, if they're like wondering, like what, maybe I should get into having a persona. They can pull up Nathan Persona. Yeah. yeah, use use this as a as a template. This is every yours. Nathan's persona. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, it's beautiful. I think you did I a wonderful love job. It. Thank you. And it is truly so sincere. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going for. This is so good. The colors all work so well together. Uh, Thank you, Julia. Great work on so this. So much teen energy. Yeah. Uh, oh. I'm gonna be up next. Okay. Jacob ah. persona, time. Okay. Yay. So I decided to go, I originally thought I was gonna go like capybara, like my standard animal choice, but right. I wanted something a little sexier, a little edgier. Um, <laughs> sexier yeah. than a capybara? non -sense. Impossible. <laughs> Those so, series of sugar cubes stacked on top of each other wasn't sexy enough? Yeah, it's, they're not sexy. I don't think anyone would call them sexy, but you know what animal can be sexy? A hyena. Oh. oh. And they're also kind of like the punk rock shit posters of the animal kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> True. And so I wanted to do me as a hyena in kind of an edgier looking pose. And for some reason, this one came out 
so fast that I feel like I didn't really do it. Yeah. I was done oh. in like an hour flat and it, it was exactly nice. how I wanted it. So. I know. I was working on mine and I <laughs> saw you like go, you had your warm up sketches and then you were like really in the zone for a while and you were like, okay, I'm done. I'm going to go hang out in the living room. Damn, like, Jacob. What the happened? fursona entered your body. <laughs> it, it did. Um, so I'm just going to get it started. It was waiting to get out. Yeah. I, I've released it under the world and now I will release it unto you in three, two, one, go. Uh, so you'll notice I did a little thumbnail for this Whoa. one. Wow. I wanted oh, to that. figure out a sort of pose situation ahead of time because I've been seeing all the people on Twitter do like the six fan art things. Mm -hmm. And I like how they kind of emerged from a panel. Yeah. And so I wanted to do an emerged from a panel style. Um, so this this sketch right here ends up being the one. And it... It takes oh, me, for some reason, this. it just felt right from the get-go. I mean, that, that face. It's that classic Jacob angle. Yeah, This I is love just it. your your gym sona, but as a hyena. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> is. Um, <laughs> That's kind of what hand, a fursona is. <laughs> I was very proud of this hand because that was just straight off the dome. And also this skull. There was no reference involved here. It just, things just came out today. You're, whole, you're doing a Hamlet? Yeah, I'm doing a Hamlet. Well, uh, the assumption here is that I probably ate someone. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're one of those. Furries. Hyenas, like, they pick over bones and stuff. <laughs> and uh, they take what's <laughs> left. And I like that. You know, they don't want to do all the work. They're willing to sweep in at the end and be like, I'll just, I'll just take whatever's left. <laughs> oh, is that a little Droffy mug on your shirt? Yeah, I'm wearing a Droffy shirt and my jean jacket. Nice. Aww, what's the Droffy mug's persona? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. Audience. Mola Mola fish. Um, I'm using a, I don't know what that is. I'm using a new brush <laughs> this time. It's the big stupid fish, the really big one that's really stupid and has no natural predators. All Thank right. You, Karina. It's the big stupid fish, <laughs> if you're wondering. Um, I found this fun, really textured inking brush that Ooh. I really was digging. It's the, Ooh. if you have the Kyle Mega Pack, it's the Brayer Control 2. I'll have to try this one out. I like it. And I really was digging on how it was how it was looking. Um, I did some uh, some Julia eye fold techniques. Yeah. <laughs> that I learned from Julia. Some wrinkles. Yeah, which I, I like that sort of vibe. It's so scrunchy. Also, weirdly, I didn't zoom in a lot in this one while I was inking, and normally I zoom in like so far. <laughs> the persona took over your body. It did, yeah. yeah. This, this wasn't you drawing, this <laughs> yeah. was the hyena. I don't know what happened. I also, um, as artists do, I'm fixating on one detail that I'm really liking how you did. The back ear, like the ear coming at us in that shape, that like forest perspective, and then that ear in the back just like going, like receding. Very good. Thank you. Those look so good together. And once like again, the, the, nails. the hand I was very proud of. Yeah, damn. Damn, this is so B-Stars. I was, of course, yeah, I was going to say that, Karina. I was thinking about B-Stars more than I was thinking about Fursonas. Because <laughs> I just, I like those guys. B-Stars, a.k.a. Fursonas the anime. Yeah. But they all wear clothes and they have kind of a cooler vibe to them. I just want to be a B-Star. <laughs> Don't we Why all? Why can't well, you, I you, be a B-Star? You are now. Yeah. After this, you are. You did it. You succeeded. <laughs> I have become B-Star. This is so cool. Yeah. I love the turn of the skull. Like you're looking at the side of it. Because I, I think I would be tempted to have me looking in like the face of the skull, which wouldn't look as good to like the viewers of the piece. Yeah. This one was all about style. I yeah. really wanted to just do something that looks stylish. This um, palette. It's like you're whispering into the ear of the skull. I ate you, sucker. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to be to be et by me? Jacob, this palette is beautiful. Thank you. I'm also doing a thing here that I learned from Julia again, which is that <laughs> I'm picking colors and then going into the color picker and adjusting the red balance of the color to give everything mm. a reddish tint. I'm so proud. Um, oh. Which is an easy way to get colors to kind of all work well together. And yeah. then I could have the yellow of the eye and the teeth pop more because it's not composition in the, yeah. in the palette this hits like another specific furry aesthetic at least in my opinion of like old school like paint boards what do you call them 
where it's just like MS Paint, but online. Oh, yeah, like the Oakaki. Yeah. Yeah. I remember it's like those. That. A... I haven't thought about that in so long. <laughs> it entered your body. I. <laughs> I remember that I used to be like jealous of the people on those boards because they were so good. Yeah. At working with such limited tool sets. It's but now that's you. I'm the Oakaki sure. now. <laughs> these are such good shapes. Yeah. Thank Love you. Love these shapes, Jacob. Thank you. I feel like you went really uh, angular with this one. I did. I was trying some things. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what brush is that? Uh, this is actually, you remember Dave Greco, who was on our stream that one time? Oh. I do remember Dave Greco, who was he, on our stream that one time. He's got a really good brush set you can download for free. Oh, damn. If you Google Dave Greco brushes, and he's got a brush that's just called like the Dave Greco main brush. <laughs> and for like anything painty, I've just been using that because it's like so versatile and easy to use. Um, that's great. Now you're going to see a lot of flashing colors, and I apologize. What is this? What are you doing? Hello? I was ex I was playing around with gradient maps because I had never messed with them before. Okay. So I just wanted to see like how it would look with a bunch of different gradient maps on it. I don't end up going with any of them. Oh, oh some cool stuff though. Uh, this is I, just like a music video you did at the end for us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I do do a little bit of color balancing to give it sort of a to push it a little more purpley, a little cooler tone. Uh, Ooh, just ever so slightly. Yeah. I like that. And then I do a lot of other stuff that I don't end up keeping too. So you can watch all that happen as well. Hell yeah. Lots of gradients. I mess with the curves a bit. I was really just messing with the tools. And you know I had to do it to him. Rim lighting. <laughs> Rim lighting. We love to see it. I felt like it needed some sort of like color pop to really like bring the face out. So. Yeah, because it gets so dark up there. You, you lose the nice line quality a little bit, but it does look good, the, the black yeah. on the background. And this highlight, I think, was a good <laughs> compromise. <laughs> wow, all right. <laughs> look at the dancing curves. Yeah. Yeah. Ignore the curves, ignore the colors. I don't know That's just the that persona either. entering your body. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was just having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun watching. Oh, cool signatures. Nice. Wow. Like that up there. Do not steal. I was super happy with this one. And like I said, it, it came out in like an hour and I felt like I didn't, I hadn't done anything. So it doesn't even feel like I drew it. <laughs> you didn't draw it. <laughs> Jacob, how does it make you feel? Your persona drew it. That your initials are JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> yeah, I've been hearing that a lot from people <laughs> and I never thought about it until I put my initials on the drawing I posted on Twitter recently and I got a bunch of replies that were like your initials are Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and I'm like Dude. oh no <laughs> but yeah this, wow. this is my boy so cool it's great very cool thank you uh, up next we got good old Karina Ooh, that's me I've never um, called you good old Karina before. That's yeah, that's that was a weird <laughs> choice you made, Jacob, yeah. but I take it back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't unring that bell. <laughs> so for my persona, I went basic as hell and I did a cat. And I did it kind of sincerely, but it was a little too sincere that it circled back to stupid. <laughs> You're welcome. That's the most sincere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should so, I uh, count yeah. it in? Get get a get a rolling. All right. Three, two, one, go. So yeah, it's me, but it's a cat, and I I drew a whole thing, and then I don't go with this drawing. I guess I was just figuring out what it would look like, and I decided I wanted to do something stupider. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Oh, the eyes. The eyes. baby! And and I chose a cat because this is how I sit when I game. <laughs> Look at it tumbling around. <laughs> yeah, I cross my legs when I'm laying oh, down. <laughs> and I've been roasted for it. And I'm like, you know, sometimes you just your persona enters your body. <laughs> You're definitely like terraforming your Animal Crossing island yes. in this position. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am. Oh, it's good. So here's where I do that cool thing where you like refine it too much and decide no. 
because I was like, oh, it looks kind of weird. So I tried to like do it more seriously, but then I realized I kind of preferred the way the initial sketch looked, and then yeah. I just I deleted that. everything. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Yeah, the initial sketch had right so, much, so much character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just the art process sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you do a lot of yeah. drawing and just get rid of it. Yeah, sometimes you overwork it. Also, no one be weird that I drew my fursona's feet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> if any of you be weird about this, <laughs> you're not allowed to watch the channel anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will find you. Feet are normal. Yeah, we all have them. Um, Especially for Sonas. <laughs> Especially for Sonas. <laughs> this face is so yeah. good. I love this crooked mouth. <laughs> I I wanted to do like a cool persona with like a sword or something, and then I was like, man, I gotta draw my persona. I want to terraform my Animal Crossing island. Let's just do it, I guess. Also, this pause is where I left the room to get my switch for reference. <sighs> Spend so much time looking at it, but you, you never, never really look at the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm What's always looking at there? my reflection in the screen while it's loading and going. Why? Uh, gotta Aww. stare at my own haggard face. It's a little cat switch. <laughs> Adorable. I love these hands. They're so meaty. Yeah. I figured if I was a cat, I'd have big meaty paws. Yeah. Developing the strength of all that button pushing. <laughs> yeah, from playing um, human crossing, people crossing. <laughs> 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 Our cats have been trying to game recently. So this, oh. this feels relevant. Yeah, I've become one with your cats. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. You are B Stars Volume One. <laughs> but yeah, and gotta have my big, comfortable clothes. Much like my gym sona, this does just kind of reflect what I've been up to in the moment. And what I've been up to is I've left my house for twenty minutes in the past three weeks. So like, this is just how it is now. <laughs> Human Wonderful. stars. <laughs> Amazing. Karina, detail. As per usual, I have to commend you on just busting out a wild anatomy position to tackle. Thank you. It's it like makes sense and yet it's such a jumble of limbs. I didn't even check. I didn't redline this or anything, but like I said, this is kind of how I sit when I game. So right, so you know <laughs> it, how it's, it works. It's in my soul. <laughs> yeah, it's also how cats do a little curl up. Yeah, that's, that's why I chose a cat. I was like, man, <laughs> I feel that it's, it's a little too close to home. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, I was kind of suffering over which animal to choose, but I was like, eh, cats are the one animal I look at and go, yeah, same. <laughs> and since fursonas are kind of an idealized version of yourself in some sense i decided to wear a yellow hoodie because an oh. ideal version of myself would wear more yellow <laughs> that's such like a specific thing <laughs> but it's I true didn't know that. but it's true you want you want to wear more yellow yeah okay but i don't <laughs> what's stopping you i don't know well, we support you. If you decide yeah. you want to wear more yellow, we'll be like, Thank hell you. yeah, that looks great. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be sure to notice whenever you wear yellow. If, if we I ever see ever each other again. See yeah, you in person. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you see me, I'll be wearing yellow. <laughs> yeah, just lately like I just- my persona. <laughs> I go around my apartment and when I see Joy asleep in any position, I say, I wish that were me. <laughs> Out loud. At least once a day, I say that I wish that were me. Yeah, it's true. He does. Because they don't know anything's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. They Olive will always think something's wrong, to be fair. <laughs> She's a little anxiety cat. But yeah. I love, I love that you like, detailed the, the cover. Yeah, it's fair. Just, the hint, just the hint of <laughs> yeah. of detail. Not too much to draw focus away from the main 
thing. I, I did not know what my persona would be going into this, but I knew what one joke I wanted to make. It's a good joke. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> you know I gotta. <laughs> but yeah, this is my persona. This is what I've been up to. This is not a very fantastical <laughs> depiction of myself, but as an animal, this is just, I, you just know. A sweet, a sweet, cozy drawing. Sometimes yeah. you draw what you know. <laughs> Listen, you met you met the brief quite well. It is a fursona. <laughs> A very good one at that. Yeah. It's, it, this is why my fursona is a cat. Because this is what I do. This is who I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you should choose your fursona. You got to say, who yeah. am I? <laughs> no, you can, you can draw who, who you are, who you could be. There, there's, all, there's no wrong way to do a fursona yeah. is what we're learning yes. here. I would encourage everyone watching to do your own fursona. Uh-huh. And yeah, and maybe you'll find something out about yourself. Yeah, like that. You should wear more yellow. Maybe your persona will will live. That's through a you. secondary priority after uh, making Nathan persona trend. Yeah, yes. yeah. Once Do that, that first. Done... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is my persona. This I is love wonderful. It. It's beautiful. It's got She's such playing strong, People like... Crossing. She doesn't know how to sit correctly, and she loves human stars. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> read human stars. <laughs> it's got big, like, diary comic vibes. I would read this daily strip about your yeah. life. Yeah, about my life, except I'm a cat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, all right, Julia, are you ready to do yours? Me. All right, Julia, what animal did you go with? So I think everyone expected me to do a, a crow, and I was tempted to do a crow, but I didn't want to draw a big bird for some reason. I wasn't, I wasn't in the mood. Uh, Jacob can attest to my wandering around the apartment having uh, a, a pseudo crises about this one because I didn't know what animal I wanted to do. I was having a bad art day, and then I just... I drew a whole piece for like two hours and then wound up through throwing it out and starting over completely with a completely different idea. So I went with a raccoon Ooh. because uh, they mostly just bumble around wanting to be left <laughs> alone and they use their little hands for everything. And I like to do a lot of hobbies that require little precision handwork so i went with raccoon get your grubby mitts all over everything yes all right i'm gonna get it going all right three two one go yay so i kind of snapped out of my bad art day by just kind of scribbling a lot after i threw out that entire piece that i had worked on <laughs> that you that you tweeted about oh <laughs> Was that the one you threw out? Yeah, that was part of it. Damn. Because I wanted to draw my myself as a raccoon, and I don't know, it was a whole thing. Um, <laughs> and I originally drew myself at like a pizza place, hanging out in like a, uh, hanging out in like a New York City pizza pizzeria, because uh, I wanted to do the only sort of fursona that I that I know in my heart I had to do which was a black sad referenced persona. Hell yeah. I did have black sad out while I was drawing just in case I needed further reference. <laughs> yeah. What is black sad? Everybody read black sad. Everybody read black sad. It's so good. Okay. It's a detective novel about this detective who's a panther. Like everyone Ooh. is an animal. Yeah. Um, and it takes place in like a New York City say it's been a while since i read it but it's so good it has an amazing art style and great writing sweet so i reference check uh, it out black sad here hell yeah because i don't know anything about the fursona world i've watched one episode of b stars on <laughs> on netflix come on <laughs> i haven't read it i've read black sad and that's about as close as i've gotten so I drew myself as a little um, raccoon tinkerer. Oh. I love how like naturalistic this is. Black Sad yeah. is very just like it's a it's a human with animal head most of the time. Yes, but fursonas 
are never like someone calmly working on a watch. It can like be. A <laughs> this whole, yes. you it get a whole ass be. environment. <laughs> it can be, but is it ever until now? I think this is like a first. I also have been some wanting to get back to my roots oh my God. and do some more illustrated scenes because I've been missing doing nice. illustration. So yeah. I'm trying to, yeah, you just, to work on it. You just did a whole ass scene. Classic Julia move. <laughs> The persona entered too. your body a little, but. <laughs> My background was just a square. Yeah. Nathan's background was a circle. Yeah. Karina's background was nothing. It had a little drop shadow, and it there was a, a book. Shadow. Shadow. Yeah, and a book. <laughs> Here's also what I do. This is like my crutch, is that when I don't know what exactly I want to do, I kind of just make a scene to distract from the fact that I don't actually know what I'm doing in my character. Hell oh yeah. God. Jesus. All these straight lines. Oh, yeah, I did a yeah lot this isn't work. even about the fursona. This is about <laughs> yeah. your perspective work. <laughs> <laughs> I added some posters on the wall to give it some more depth. Damn, we get it, Julia. You know how to do one point perspective. <laughs> the raccoon has been Wish done. that were me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so long. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really get what the fursona is unless you can see the entire ornate lettering of the watch repair. That's important store. for her backstory. You have to t write letters backwards yeah. in the window. <laughs> it's world building. Wait, did you do that backwards? <laughs> yeah, I did it backwards. Julia. <laughs> I don't know when I acquired that skill, but I can kind of just crank it out now. <laughs> This is, wow. Here come the colors, which I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do for a light source. So you can see me kind of just um, fudge it all a little bit. Definitely seen you wear this outfit. Yeah. Not with the, oh, yeah. um, not with the head, the head special. The little headlamp that's being blocked headlamp. by my bangs a little yeah, bit. But but yeah. I call that the head special. Yeah. But you the were a special. raccoon. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. were a raccoon when you wear the outfit. <laughs> There's a little black markings. I don't know much about raccoons. Just every time <laughs> I see them on YouTube, uh, they crack me up. I know that they have to wash their food before they eat it. Oh. Which is why they get sad when you give them cotton candy because they go and they try to wash it in some water and the cotton candy disappears and then they have a crisis. <laughs> Julia it's gets a given a lot of raccoons cotton candy. Yes, way, it's fun. way to prank those raccoons. Yeah, <laughs> owned. What a this is just what a process. <laughs> this is, I I can't even begin to fathom how I would draw, like, conceive of this, let alone color it all. I didn't know how I was going to color it. Oh yeah, there was some line there, and I didn't know what happened to me there but that's just out. part what? of the perspective process yeah honestly. we fudged it <laughs> but i didn't know exactly how i wanted to to render it so i kind of just went back to my usual rendering style i fell back on it a bit i used all my my coloring shortcuts oh yeah we got to get all of these stupid little details i was going to add more details and then i was like why <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you've already added these many details. Yeah. Why, what's what's yeah. a few more details? I'm surprised it took you this long to say why. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not actually because it's you, but. <laughs> this is so black sad. <laughs> yeah, I love the mood of black sad. It's just like a bunch of kind of bored people hanging out in a city. Yeah. Which fits my aesthetic to a T. <laughs> Julia wants it to always be raining, always be nighttime, and for everyone to be sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this question has been going great. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. I wanted to add some gold here to kind of make yes. this pop and give it that kind of antique -y feel. Oh I see gosh. you also made some colors flash rapidly. Yes. Oh, yeah. You gotta do it sometimes. I always, always. Every single Photoshop thing. I like don't learn what layer styles, what each layer style does. I kind of just flip through all of them to see what looks best. <laughs> yeah, I do that too Ooh. every time. 
Oh, yeah, I added little some, little dust, some little dust particles on the light yeah, to kind of... Of course you did. ...give emphasis to the light that's there. But yeah, wow. that's uh, that's my piece. I'm a little raccoon who's working on antique watches. I was so sure that you were going to draw like posters in the background too. I was really thinking about it. Just because it's also, you. I was also working on this. <laughs> it was like 10 o'clock at night or something. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. we were all working on our personas at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that was that was me too yeah, uh, last night. It's the, the fursona you know, hour. The day before. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the fursonas come out. <laughs> we give ourselves a week to do it, and we all do it the night before. I mean, we wouldn't be artists if we didn't leave everything for the last minute and then <laughs> shove it all into a small span of time. That's the way of it. Yep. That's life, baby. This rules. I love how different everyone's is. Yeah, that's from true. From each other. We all went super different visual directions for sure. Yeah. I think this will be fun for people to watch and see what we all did. <laughs> that's when you know you have a good prompt is when everyone can just take it in their own like special route. E. So thanks again, Casey. Glad yeah. we finally did this for you and only for you. <laughs> if this video gets one view and it's you, then we've succeeded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, you should subscribe. Yes, please. You yeah. should like and subscribe. You should leave a comment. You should leave a comment. You should Hit get the bell. Get Hello? Nathan's Fursona trending. Hashtag yes. Nathan's Fursona. Yeah. SEO, baby. SEO, baby. We're sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. sorry.